Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Jeff and Michael from Achievement Hunter. Michael, we are doing a Five Facts in Roller Coaster Tycoon. Woo! Do you remember that game? I do remember it. I yeah. played it a bit. I, I dabbled. I played it a little bit, too. It was a fun game. Yeah, I would play the first few levels. They had, like, short objectives, like, build this coaster and do this, or, like, yeah. get this many people in it. I'd be like, yeah, and I'd do that for, like, five levels, and then I'd get to the levels where you could build, like, the bigger coasters, and then I'd immediately try and break the coasters, because <laughs> you can, like, turn the speeds up really fast and try and derail it oh, and yeah. kill people and shit. I'd, and then, you know. Before we get started with Franco's official five facts, I'm going to throw one out there. Okay. It's a fucking uh, game you play on a computer. <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> PC game. Not an Xbox game. All right. Fact number one, Michael. No, oh. number two. No, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, but this yeah. is six. Official facts, number one. Yeah. Uh, actual number two. Actual number two. Uh, okay, so Chris Sawyer, the game's developer, originally wanted to create a sequel to the highly successful Transport Tycoon, a business simulator also designed by Sawyer. However, during the development, he became obsessed with <laughs> roller coasters and changed his project idea. That's pretty big change. Going, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say that that also changed his life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Transport Tycoon. Transport Tycoon. And the world would have to wait for the sequel to a Transport Tycoon. A business Tycoon. simulator. Was there, like, businessmen, like, clamoring for this? There's like, fuck, it's not coming out? What do I do with all these extra briefcases? The, I was going to carry the game in. It was the only video game Donald Trump ever played. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Fact number two slash three. Uh, the original name for the game was White Knuckle, a title that actually <laughs> lasted dirty. a long time in the development cycle. Yeah, that was when the game was a little... Uh, the game was... <laughs> The game was a little more blue back then. Uh, when Micropose, the game's publisher and developer, funded by Wild Bill Steely and Sid Meier got involved, it was decided that Tycoon should be kept to follow the Tycoon tradition. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So instead of White Knuckle Tycoon, <laughs> <laughs> or Tycoon Tycoon, they went with Roller Coaster Tycoon. I, I think it's a good fit, because yeah. the whole game's about roller coasters. It is. It is. It's a good last-minute decision. Did you ever try to make those roller coasters that, like, lasted forever? Yeah. Yeah. Those were fun. Did you know <laughs> that according to Chris Sawyer, 99% of the game is written in assembly code? Oh my god, That's a really? rare occurrence for games published in the late 90s. Shit. Pretty Get rare. out of town. Yeah. Get out of town. Pretty fast. So what's the significance of that? Oh, dude, nobody writes in assembly anymore. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Was it, like, dangerous? <laughs> he was just like, I don't even care. Yeah, I, just fucking throw I might get radiation, the but yeah. the game's going to be good. You could tell. When I was playing it, I mean, I didn't know the numbers, and I couldn't say, like, you know, for sure, but I was like, something's off. And now that, like, you say you, that it was, yeah, it was mostly assembly. assembly code, I'm like, that's what it was. Yeah, he was into <laughs> radiation. Yeah, he was hoping to turn into the Fantastic Four mm. if, uh, if it went well, but it did not. Actually, it did. Well, it I mean, got a good game, yeah. Yeah, it a good like, game. A bunch more after Fucking that one, I think. Code. I think there's a bunch more. Do you think anybody who's reading the, listening to this uh, video right now has any idea what assembly code is? Uh, there's probably a few. Probably. I bet there's a few out there. Shut up, nerds. Yeah. All right. Fact number four slash five. Get the talk. Leave a comment. <laughs> Sony Pictures picked up the rights to make a roller coaster tycoon movie. Oh, man. Yeah. But... Michael, as of the <laughs> recording of this video, oh. this specific video oh my right God, here, right now, it's not clear Let's if that movie it. is still in to development. To be clear, or not. to be clear, that's June tenth, two thousand and thirteen. Yes, right. Like we wanted people to know. While the world is clamoring for a roller what coaster the tycoon fuck would movie, would that be about, dude? It'd be about a dude who wears a top hat and makes <laughs> a lot of money and makes roller coasters. I think they could combine it with that movie. What was that movie with? Uh, what the hell's his name? Denzel Washington and Chris Pine with the trains. Oh yeah, like Un unstoppable. Or yeah, whatever. combine it with that. Like Chris, oh this roller coaster's out of control. Get Chris Pine on it, and you Denzel know, be like, "You can't do it," and he's like, "I have to." <laughs> you know what they should add in that too? What? Uh, top Chris, hats. Chris, Chris Pine, Denzel Washington, roller coasters, top hats, titties. Yeah. Yeah. Like a, like all those eighties like snowboarding movies. The one and thing ski missing. Movies. Spoiler alert. Yeah. But the one thing missing from the new Star Trek movie were titties. Titties. Yeah. It was great. There was but some it bra been and underwear. There were bra and panties for yeah. no reason whatsoever, but to pan to the audience, and it was great. It like, was. Could have went a little further, JJ. I'm just saying. Yeah. Let's bring the eighties and gratuitous titties back. Even uh, I don't even care. They can hang some boring. dong in Roller Coaster Tycoon. Yeah. Make it even it out. Yeah. I'm fine. Maybe they'll want to throw some Dolph Lundgren in there. <laughs> that would Dolph be awesome. Lundgren. He's not doing anything right now, uh, except for fighting crime <laughs> yeah. with his nose. His right? nose. <laughs> the nose knows. Okay. Fact number five slash six is uh, a good one, Michael. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Are you excited about it? Yeah. I'm going to tell you all about it right now. Okay. Lay it on me. Did you? <laughs> oh my god. Did you know that assigning certain names to guests make them act differently than others? Holy shit. For example, and this is this is that example I'm going to give right. to you right now. Naming a guest Big Bucks will cause that guest to have unlimited money. Naming yeah, a guest down. Chris Sawyer will cause that guest to walk around and take photos of the park. 
uh, like perverted photos, like upskirts yeah. and stuff. Yeah. In the potties. <laughs> and then uh, uh, additionally, there are many Easter eggs and cheats associated with this concept. Oh, so, shit. Uh, so what get if creative you, with your naming schemes. If you and write, who knows what will happen. If you name a guy Fat Dong. Yeah, then he's got a giant It's going to be dragging it around behind him. Yeah. Just like, if, ah. If, if you name a guy Gary Schlong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or Tripod. Then, uh, yeah, you get some giant wieners. So that's it, Michael. That's uh, yeah. f- uh, six facts. Wait a minute. Tiger. Wait a minute. Seventh fact. Okay. I'll just throw it in. Uh, Dolph Lundgren possibly can smell crime before it happens. <laughs> that's the seventh fact. I, I can't wait for this movie to come out. <laughs>